Hi Corral friends, Naturally Rhonda here. Welcome back to my channel. So as you can see from the title of this video, this is another Treatment Tuesday video. I really apologize because I just went back and looked at my playlist, my Treatment Tuesday playlist, and I see that I haven't done a Treatment Tuesday video in two months. So I'm very, very sorry. Please forgive me. But I'm back with another video. This time I am featuring Brio Geo, which is a black owned business. Hello. And um, I just wanted to show y'all a brief before clip of my hair. This is a week old twist out. I, I don't even know what this is here, what's going on with that. But um, I did a twist out and then yesterday I, that's my chime for my ring. So if that chimes again in the background, y'all know what that is. Then yesterday I slicked my hair back in a low ponytail. So there's a lot of gel that I need to shampoo out. And after all of that, I will come back on camera to review and demo and give you my first impressions on the deep conditioner. If you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Please subscribe and stay a while. Check out some of my other videos. And if you are already a curl friend, then welcome back. I love you all. Thank you for watching my videos. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. All right, I'm back. My hair is freshly shampooed, conditioned, and detangled. And I'm just going to go right in with the deep conditioner. I am using the Brio Geo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. I've heard really, really good things about this and I'm very excited to try it. This is my first time. So when you first open it, it has this little plastic top. Ooh, it smells really, really good. This is what it looks like. So my hair is still wet, but I am gonna spray it down some more because typically, I put in my deep conditioner while I'm in the shower. So it's like soaking, soaking wet. So I'm just gonna wet it down a little more with my handy dandy spray bottle of water. It really does smell good. Oh, it's very creamy and thick. All right, now I'm just gonna take my Felicia Leatherwood brush. I like to brush my deep conditioner through to make sure that it's evenly distributed. And this is the second time I detangle my hair. If you would like to see a video on my detangling process, then please let me know down below in the comments. Okay, now I'm just gonna twist this section out of the way. I heard a lot of really good things about this deep conditioner helping people's curls bounce back. And I mean, in the title, it's called Don't Despair Repair. So that tells you that they claim to repair damaged hair. Another deep conditioner, well, actually it was a clay mask that I think really worked wonders for my curls was the um, Aztec clay mask. I think it's been about four months since I've done that clay mask, so I need to do that one again. If you haven't seen that video, then I will link that down below in the description box as well as in the cards up above. I'm just gonna wet down my next section. I'm gonna go in with a generous amount of deep conditioner. You want it on your roots, the length of your hair and your ends. I think I heard someone say before, that your roots and like your scalp is the only living part of your hair and your ends are the oldest part of your hair. So you don't want to neglect either section. I know some people say that, you know, deep conditioning is just an extra step and wash days long enough as is and anybody got time and I have too much to do. I'm not about to sit something in my hair just to rinse it back out and I'll just condition it in the shower. And I hear you, trust me, I do, but I also know from personal experience that deep conditioning your hair on a regular basis makes a difference. And I even got my mom who was saying some of the same things. She does it now on a regular basis. I'm so proud of her. You know, deep conditioning doesn't have to be a really long process. Like I believe this jar says to leave this on your head for like 10 minutes and then you can rinse it out. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it on my head for like 20, 30 minutes and I'm gonna sit under a hooded dryer just because deep conditioning for less than 20 minutes isn't a part of my lifestyle. <laughs> I'm someone who would easily sleep in a deep conditioner, but you don't have to. 
or if you don't want to sit under a dryer or whatever, you can sleep in it. This always happens. I start off with them like this, like me being like, oh, let me not put too much. And it ends like this. Heavy handed. Whatever. Okay, so normally what I would do is I would then braid these braid these three and these three and then clip them on the top of my head. But I wanna try it out doing it a little differently. I'm gonna add a little more just to the crown of my head. Yes. I need to stop because this is not cheap, but I'm just going to pull it all up and put it in a scrunchie because sometimes when I have the clip on there, it hits the top of my dryer and it's just uncomfortable. Okay. So like I said, I'm gonna sit under the dryer for probably like 20, 30, probably closer to 30 minutes because I wanna eat while I'm under there. After that, I'm gonna hop in the shower, rinse this out, and then I'll be back with my final thoughts. My hair feels so good. It feels so soft and moisturized and it still smells really good too. So I'm definitely gonna be using this deep conditioner again. Now, I do have to mention that this is pricey. This deep conditioner, I wanna say costs like $36, which I know, I know is pricey for a deep conditioner. So if you still want a really good black owned deep conditioner, I would suggest Alakay Naturals honey and sage deep conditioner that's also very moisturizing it's thick and um i also have a video on it i'll leave that in the description box the description box is not up above in the description box down below and in the cards up above i know that everyone doesn't have the same amount of disposable income to spend on hair products so when i give a review on a pricier item like this deep conditioner i'm gonna try to remember to also tell y'all about more affordable alternative so this is the part of the video where i point your attention to some of my previous videos here and here I just hit myself in the face, but here and here. I love you for watching. Y'all please be safe out there and I'll see you in the next one.